Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here. And today we are talking about installing an extended charging handle on a, on a PTR32, or in my case, the modernization of the STG44. And before I begin, I'd like to send a big thank you out to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed on the pre previous videos. Always appreciate it and always enjoy talking to you guys. And if you're new here to the channel and enjoy this type of content, welcome. And please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. And with that out the way, let's get into it. So, uh, I'm installing an extended charging handle on my PTR32 in the attempt to uh, have my interpretation on the STG44 if it was made in modern day. Uh, for previous uh, or for people who have not watched the previous videos, the STG or Sturmgewehr 44 is my favorite all-time gun just from the looks and the kind of, you know, uh, storied history with it as far as uh, its design and its kind of production, how it was kind of just thrown in there in the back door uh, in order to kind of get through production. And so I said to myself, well, what would a STG 44 be like in modern day? And the PTR 32, along with this whole series of videos, is kind of what I've came up with. And one thing that I found is a little bit of a shortcoming is the charging handle. Now, it's perfectly fine as it is, but it has two flaws that I'm noticing with it. One is that you feel like you do need a bit more grip on it because uh, it does give you a two finger grip, which is perfectly fine. You can see here and the gun is unloaded. Obviously, it's uh, fully disassembled. So <laughs> or partially disassembled, I should say. Uh, but charging handle does leave a bit to be desired. So uh, I said, why not go about putting an extended charging handle on there? Also, on the PTR, it comes with this rubber overmold. It just doesn't feel as sturdy as I would like. Second thing is I got an original HK uh, G3 charging handle spring. Because the one that's on here is fine, but it does feel like it's just a little bit too loose for my liking. I prefer a little bit of a stiffer spring for the charging handle. Because it ain't flopping out, but uh, I just feel like it, it might need a little bit more snap. Because there are times when it kind of gets stuck in sort of this position. And so, uh, let's get into how to install this. Now, I picked up all these parts from hkparts.net. Uh, I believe this was only like 20 bucks, and this was like two. <laughs> um, and before you begin, of course, make sure the gun's unloaded, which I have. Uh, then you disassemble the gun. You take out these two pins here and pull these out. I, didn't, I did that before camera just because it's a lot easier uh, than trying to do it on video. Uh, second thing is you want to make sure that the handguard comes off. And you just pull one pin, and it just slides right off. Pretty easy. And once you are at this phase, you're going to see your charging handle. Now, there's going to be a pin that you're going to see. Yeah. I should probably have to roll it over. Uh, you're going to actually see two pins. There's one down here. Oh, I can't see it. But it doesn't matter because the one we're actually worried about is the one up here. So you're going to see once you get it in position, boom, there's that pin. Essentially, we're going to drive that pin straight out there on the bottom. If you can see, you may have to kind of finagle it, push down and uh, in order to get it out. Now you can go from the bottom top. Um, actually, you know what? Forget it. We'll go from the bottom to the top. So you take something, take a punch. I'm just going to use some Allen keys here. It should just go straight out. You shouldn't even need to tap it, but that's why we have the uh, hard reset right here. So as soon as I get one of these keys out, maybe a bit too big. Size up. And push. This is definitely one of those jobs to where it is not uh, hard, but it is tedious. And you can see that spring in there. We'll get on that in a second here. So you gotta line this up and then push it out. Let me see if I can do this for you guys. So you got to kind of get it at that weird angle to where it's pretty much all the way forward, but not all the way forward. So you see there we have the pin as it's flying away and spring's about to come out. There you go. Spring came out. And there is the charging handle and the pin. So you see the pin has a uh, little... Um, little uh, indices cut into it just to kind of give it a bit more surface area to grip so that way it doesn't just come flying out. And here is the PTR spring. Now you can use the same spring, it doesn't really matter, but uh, 
for my purposes, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to the German factory spring. Now they do appear just a bit different. Um, I'm sure that's just due to the tempering, actually. Let's see if uh, my couple dollars were spent well or wasted. Okay. Now, I will say that this spring feels a bit heavier, and it feels a bit... Uh, or, or heavier, I should say. It feels a bit thicker. It does feel like it has a bit more resistance. Of course, that might be my own self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> but uh, you're going to see here that on the... Um, actually, you can see that she uses the same... Even though it's a PTR32, use PTR91 charging handle. And this is one of the HK original ones. Um, again, nothing wrong with the PTR one, but... Feeling them side by side. This is more of a rubbery coating. This is more of like kind of a vulcanized, just hard rubber. Like this one kind of, feel, you can see there, it kind of has like the wear off. Where this one, a lot harder. This is more like toy leather, or toy leather, rubber. Ugh. Sorry about that. So you can see here as well that it has a little, um, little cutout for the spring. It's going to lay down in there just like that because obviously if you go the other direction it's not really going to want to work right so oh well you guys know what i mean you just want to get the spring laying down because trying to go the other way ain't gonna be right so get the spring there just get my finger situated okay and essentially there is a let's try to see if i can show you here uh, so it's going to go in this way. And you can see on the inside, there's that little lip on the front. And that's basically what's going to ride on. So nothing too crazy. Just goes in there. Just like such. Actually, here, hold on one second. Jump cut here. Need to bring it closer so I can see it. <laughs> okay, dokie, guys. So, essentially, um, you just want to make sure that the spring is uh, in here like this to where it's facing down. And then you're going to see there's a little slot inside here, right there, where it's going to fit. So, essentially, it's a, it's going to go in and then rest, and then this is going to be pushed rearward. Uh, so it does take a little bit of finagling. Uh, it's something you uh, uh, just take your time with. Just get everything lined up correctly. Uh, I have seen people kind of, you know, preload this by pulling this back and basically sitting in that slot. Uh, sometimes when you just try to push down and force it, it will shoot forward. So uh, it does take a bit of finagling, especially with this heavier duty spring. So I'm going to get that all set up here so you guys don't kind of watch me struggle. Struggle's real. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So there you go. You can see that the charging handle is now installed. Um, one thing I wanted to add is uh, that pin that I was showing you with those slots in it. That's to, of course, get more surface area so that we can grip on. Uh, make sure that the slotted end is on this side. Reason being is that the spring is on this side, which, of course, you can see. Uh, you see right there. And with how that spring is basically interacting is it's it's imparting force in the upward direction so it's basically uh wanting to try to try to escape um and having those helical coils there it's actually imparting friction and basically uh on those slots on that surface area and digging into it so it keeps the pin from uh, essentially slipping out but uh from a first time feel impression I mean, you can definitely tell that it has a bit more snap to it. Also, it's good with this extra, with this longer charging handle, more mass on here that, um, you know, it has more snap to it. But I can say that it definitely is uh, more comfortable. And as far as charging handle feel wise, I mean, you definitely have a whole handle now. So you can really, you know, rack on this thing if you want. Uh, but that spring definitely made a huge difference. And um, the extra charging handle is uh, significantly noticeable. And just even how it sounds when it hits. So here is a comparison between the old to the new, kind of on the gun. And the feel is just 100% different. So you can see it isn't huge, but when it comes to things like this, every little bit makes a significant feel. So 
yeah, that's uh, that's essentially the general installation of the charging handle. Again, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, to, just to do that off camera through the uh, Hollywood magic here, it took me about 15 minutes to finally get it. Uh, it was the hardest part was just getting it around that slot and then just pushing down because I wanted to jump out or the uh, the charging handle block uh, wanted to just kind of fly forward. So I had to kind of just pin it, and it just seemed like it was luck to finally get it working. But I uh, really like the feel. And the installation is all set up, so I'll put it back together. But I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.